The Bible says, And he came and touched the bier, and they that bare him stood still. And he said, Young man, I say unto thee, Arise. Here Jesus Christ breaks up a funeral. The widow of Nain sees her boy laid out in this funeral procession, and he stops it. And in seven words, God's number of perfection, the Lord commands this person, this young man, to arise. And today, dear child of God, the Lord gives you a very similar command. The Bible says, She that liveth in pleasure is dead while she liveth. When you and I allow sin to overwhelm us, we are as good as dead. When sin overtakes us, we are like that man walking in that funeral procession. The widow is weeping, the world is watching, and the Word of God, Jesus Christ, commands and says, Arise. In other words, dear child of God, rise up today. Don't let sin keep you down. Don't let the lusts of this life overtake you. Don't allow those vices and those weights and those besetting sins to take you out of the race. The Bible says, Awake thou that sleepest, and arise from the dead, and Christ shall give thee light. That's not talking about a resurrection. That's talking about a resurrected life. You getting up from the muck and mire of your own mistakes. You rising above the pig pen that you have inhabited far too long. And today, heed the command of your Savior to rise up one more time. One more time. A just man falleth seven times and riseth up again. Child of God, Jesus Christ is coming. He's coming to bring life from the dead in truth. May he bring you some spiritual life from the deadfulness of sin and all of its wake. May today be a day that you rise up one more time.